All right. So there's a good chance that to keep these videos not as long as they have been, I've split this up into another level. Uh, another level, oh my god, another video. Uh, so I'm starting with Magic Hitchels. Or this might just be after the previous one. Who's? If you're watching a different video, you know. Um, but this is Magic Hitchels' latest level, or latest at the time of recording, Seesaws by the Former Seashore. It's a desert themed level. I guess it used to be a beach. Oh, this is all about seesaws. They mentioned in the forum thread. I just get scared whenever Magic Eshel uploads something. None of them have been as bad as... Or no, I say bad, I mean difficult, not bad. Like, none of Magic Eshel's levels are bad. They're all very, very good. But you know what I mean, like, difficulty-wise. None of them have been as bad as the first one. Oh, this is cool. Oh god. Of all the new stuff, I've not seen a lot of use of seesaws. I see a lot of on-off switches. I see a lot of um, the claws. Not a lot of seesaws. Fancy donuts. Oh no. Oh no. Does the sun ignite bombs? That's cool. I don't think you can really build a level around it. Okay, build a level is just a stacks of ball bombs and then they... They like, you know... Oh god. Oh Jesus. That's tough. Can you make a level with stacks of ball bombs in this specific arc that the sun would go down? I don't know what use it would be. Oh no, give me the mushroom. I really need that. I'm not good at this game. <laughs> Goodbye, sucker. I didn't realize you could choose where the sun shows up. I don't really mess around with the sun. There's so many mechanics in this game that I've just not messed around with. Last level was just, hey, what if I make a troll level with ice blocks and saws everywhere? And it was fun. And it wasn't as hard as I thought it was, apparently, because a lot of people beat it. The complete rate for that level, relatively high. Let me go into after this. Oh my god, die. Let me in here. Um. No, oh, the sea's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stupid spiny, let me up here. Okay, whatever. I'm going to end up killing myself if I do that. End game. Of course not. Uh, yeah, that level was cool. Good use of seesaws. Nothing too super complicated, but I could see how you could like elaborate on it. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, Magic Casual has made some really good levels so far. All right. I think stop starting these with all right. So next up we have Ghost Factory by Lydum, or on the forums they are called Itfin. I've probably mispronounced both of those names, because that's how this goes. Uh, it's a short level full of ghost switches with an incredibly, incredibly low completion rate. And one of the people that has beat it is Lazy Piranha who made a very difficult level. Oh my god. Well, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. I'll always be jumping, I guess. Uh, this, there's a time limit on it as well. Oh, jeez. You just need to run. Oh, even more ghosts! We have too many ghosts. I'm going in this door. I'm gonna die. Yep. Well, goodbye. 
Okay. I don't know if that door's where I'm meant to go. But there's definitely a way up above that door, so maybe I just need to jump the moment I get out of it. Can you can I climb back out? This level is it's insane. This is the smart thing though, it's, it's like quicksand. Uh, I need you, Twister. Oh, so it's a beetle shell hitting a thing. That makes sense. Oh, there's multiple of them, that's why it's going so crazy. Oh my god. I need just run. And jump. And run and jump. And not stop for even a second. Because then this happens. It's like it's broken. It's like the worst disco ever. My suggestion for this level is uh, add a couple of more music blocks and more of the little contraptions you've made that automatically press the buttons, but make them press the music blocks to make a horrible, horrible noise as well. I needed to jump there, that was the whole point! Alright, let's... I can't get across anymore though, because this tweester's here now, which means I'm gonna die. I don't think there's any way to get past that tweester. I need to get past it to start with. I think I want to run. I mean, I don't want to run. Whatever. I think I want to go to the right and then to the left. I don't think I want to go the ghost path that I'm going. This is all just luck. If you land on an empty block, you're dead. So these jumps are all just luck. And I'm having bad luck. Because it looked like there were some one-way things. Okay. 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 No. No. Okay. I was wrong. It looked like there were some one-way things up there. Come on, Twister, help me out. The one useful Twister in the world. I don't think I can go that way. I go from this. Does that help? Oh, this is not good. Oh, it's not bad though. It seems easier than trying to jump when you go through the door. Let's try that. That seems to go well. This is this bit. So I go this way. I can lure all the ghosts towards me. Hey, buddies. I'm going over here, where your friends are. Uh, cool. I need to not do that. I need to jump on it. I think that's where I want to go. That all makes sense. Follow the money. I mean, except it doesn't make sense because the ending's going to be over to the right. Because that's how levels work. So there must be a door. Because it definitely seems right. Because that door does. Unless I can do something else to get past those ghosts. I want to be at this level. I'm, I'm in it now. This is going to be another 7 hour long video. I've not put up a 7 hour long video. That'd be silly. It's a good thing I decided to split these in two, though. I mean, I did it because I don't, I'm not going to have time to edit all of these together. So it makes sense to split them in two and then at least I can put some up. Okay, that's stupid. I keep forgetting about the ghosts, which is insane because they're everywhere. It's kind of impossible to forget about them. If I had ghosts in my house, I don't think I'd forget about them. Oh, maybe I did. Right, ghosties. Get out of my way. Don't. Hit that one. Let's do this. Oh, jump. 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 
Oh, I'm gonna die. I was so close, though. I could smell the second part of this level. There can't be that much more level, though, because the timer's so low. I mean, it's a very trolly silly level, but it's fun. Is that the hiding behind the flame block? Oh, I'm gonna die. If that one comes out that way, I just can't. I need to go around and jump on top. It's the only way to do it. Alright, this time. I'll die in an even stupider way than normal. More stupid? Stupider? Write below in the comment. I was checking my phone. <laughs> you stand in between them. You're immortal. If you very slowly jumped and landed on the divider between each block, you could definitely pull this off. I'd like to believe that the person that made this level thought of that, and that's why the timer's there, but realistically, that would be an insane thing for them to think of. <laughs> An insane thing to think that anyone would actually try to do. I've, I've messed up by pushing that boo in. Ah, ghosts, eh? Okay, messages. Right. Ah. Uh, the twister and the fire went uh, bad timing to each other. It's the same time as everyone. I realize my jump to this bad time. Right. Let's do this. Hey, boo. Why did I just walk into it? That was dumb. If I ever make a compilation video of all of the deaths I've made, this will be a large part of it. A large part of it. For what? It's a level that is forced to take you less than a minute to complete. It sure is taking me longer than a minute to complete. Right. Arrgh! I didn't jump off the block. That was just bad luck. Yeah, the timing on these twisters is so that if you miss one of those first jumps, you may as well just die. Because you're gonna. Or at least it's really a pain in the butt to try and get past the twisters, because this one just push you up to here. And there's a time limit. Alright, alright, alright. Let's do this. Bounce, 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 bounce. And I've messed it up. Can I lure that ghost down? Or can I just die? That also do the same thing, I guess. Whoops. Nah. I'm missing the easy things that I was getting consistently now. That's what happens if you repeat things so much. You either get it perfectly or you start making stupid mistakes. Like that! This time. I got it. I got it, I got it. I assume that's where I want to go. You're still there, you're still there, you're still there, you're still there, you're still there. 
As a kid playing Mario games, every time there's booze, I used to just sit and do that. I used to just stand and go... Oh, this is... That was a good place to land. I used to just stand and flip back and forth a bunch. Oh no! I don't want to open these. Wait, I hit the one as it was coming out. This is silly. Alright, try not to hit the question mark blocks. Got it. If I bounce up high enough on one first ones, I can probably get on top of the question mark blocks. And I don't think there was... I think, well, I think there was a couple of those up there. I've messed up. No, I've not messed up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not ideal. It's fine. Let's see if I can get up here again. Can I...? Oh, there's like some parachute then. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I may be able to get through the first lot that way, but there's more. They weren't kidding when they said there was a lot of ghosts. Alright. Uh, if I get there fast enough, I can get on that before the fire comes around. I'm gonna wait for it. I hope the timer isn't that strict. If the timer is that strict, then that might ruin it for me. I'm doomed here. Oh my god! It's, such, it's a harder jump than it should be. I don't know why. I think it's the stress of all the colours and noise of this level. Yeah, I think you definitely need a couple of uh, music blocks, like the, the secondary ones that make actual music notes. With more of these hitting them at different places to make a, a disaster. To really destroy everything about this level. Every sense. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this. This bit is gonna get me. <sighs> you really need to do it perfectly. Any mistake and you end up stuck. You're stuck in like this, or stuck with a boo. Usually it's a boo. There's so many of them. Right, let's wait for this to come around. One pixel. Too close. Right, this time. We go up, we go up, we go up. I think I've got this bit done. We're making progress. It's fast enough that time that I can do this. Which is good. That's bad. We're near around 15 minutes just for this level. This level's only 6 seconds long. How could that be? I'm gonna die again. This is cruel. I am enjoying it in a weird, terrible way. Because the level is well made. It's not like it's, you know, bad. It's just it's, it's incredibly tough. Why was that Boo there? Why are you there, Boo? Come on. Come on. Let's turn around a bit and make sure there's no Boos there. Here, you go there. You go there. You go there. Let's fall down onto this. Hold nothing, D pad. Hold the best. There we go. Let's do this. This, this, this. I'm not going to make much progress. I just want to get past this. Okay. One. These ones are so fast. Oh, that is tough. That has to be the end of it though, right? Like that, that pipe must just take you to the end. Because the end has to be on this side, so it has to be through a pipe. I bet it's something stupid, like if you just run to the right. You just get to the end or something. Come on. Climb. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's do it properly. This bit's not that hard. It looks cool though. It looks way cooler when you're in that dome. Oh, God damn it. Right, let's go. Let's just run for it. Yes. 
That's what I want. Oh, please. Yay! I did it. Your ghost factory can't beat me. Uh, Prana beat me though by like four whole seconds. Well, as long as I can let them know this level was easy. I did enjoy that. It's nonsense. Let's, let's make a break from tradition here. Let's see if Lylan's made any other levels. I've not been shown in the videos, but I've been, I've been following everyone afterwards as well. Out of sync. I'm gonna try that one on my commute tomorrow. World Records by Eve Secret, who was another uh, waypointer. Whose level we played in episode one? Maybe episode two? I don't remember. Anyway, on to the next level. All right, next up we have Free Big Thwomp. Free him. Well, I'm not sure actually. Maybe there's a free one? I don't know if I'd want even a free Big Thwomp. This is by MGM195. Same name on the forum. Uh, I think. Maybe with a different number. No, no, it's the same. Uh, <laughs> one clear out of a hundred and something. I'm gonna make that way worse, I think. Let's see how this goes. Free him and follow him to freedom. This video world music is just so pleasant. This is a good thematic level. Oh god. No, oh, I messed up instantly. Oh, he missed the start of the game. And I died. Well, I didn't die, but it'd be faster if I died. Interesting. Ah, ah, that was stupid. I mean, it wasn't stupid. I couldn't have saw that coming. The only thing I know about this level is that it is made of multiple sections, and some of them are apparently self described by MGM as irritating. So, let's see if I agree. I suspect yes. This being one of them. How are you meant to get back up there? It's cruelty. Cause I can't get back up here. This doesn't... I'm failing at the most obviously like simple jump. It just doesn't look like the snake block goes up like early enough for me to be able to jump on those blocks. So what do I do? I don't necessarily help. I need to stop doing that at least. Oh, so many deaths. The theme of this is you're meant to be climbing a tower to save a thwomp. But hey, having theming for levels is cool. I needed to jump. I needed to jump. As it turns out, it's not called fall off a ledge, man. I mean, it's not a jump man either anymore. We're all jump man. Ah. Uh. 
this time. This will be the one that I figure out what I may be doing. I can wall jump off it. Theoretically, I don't know if I could do it. But theoretically, a human could. Because that's not high enough. And then I die. I feel like I'm missing something really stupid. Alright, here's my plan. We're gonna do something real stupid. Oh ho ho! Screw the snake block! Who needs it? Uh, me. Oh no, not me. It was all a ruse. All these levels lying to me today. Well, technically in the last video, probably. I'm gonna destroy these guys' houses. Can I go through that door? I can't do the, the cat scratching. I'm just gonna waste all my time trying to get through this door that probably just leads to the door of the other house. Because MGM didn't think anyone would be silly enough to spend time smashing up the, the houses that he creatively built. Do it. I knew it. I'm so glad those didn't respawn. I'm I would have really been upset. Alright. Uh can't Mario climb up things? In case you can tell. 3D World's great. Like the original game. It took me a while to get into it. I didn't really like it that much. But I eventually came around on it, because it's great. They should port that to the Switch. I know it's a running joke at this point, that everyone's like, hey, you should port everything to the Switch. But you know what? You should. Oh, wait. Oh, god damn. I need to redo the whole level now, right? Because I need the cat. And it won't have respawned. So I should probably just die. Ah, don't fall. There wasn't a checkpoint up there, was there? No. Okay, but this this bit's actually easier once you know the trick. Once you know the mistruths that MGM is feeding you. And you don't do something stupid, I guess. I did something stupid like this. I mean, the ending must be down here as well. Oh god, that was especially stupid. I'm just wondering if I can skip this whole snake block entirely. No. No, I can't. It's too quick. Alright. Stay on the snake block for one go round. And this pops up. I'm out of here. You're on your own snake block. Ah, uh, too soon. Too soon. I had to try one more time. I wonder if you have camera you can just jump to the right and hope. And pray. That was just stupid. Because then they must be down here, right? Because we started down here, not above ground. I need to pay attention to this as well. If we started down here, the level end has to be somewhere around the point where I got the camera, I think, because it stopped scrolling. Although, actually, this, this game, compared to original Mario Maker, it can stop scrolling in general. I think they fixed the camera. Good. The biggest improvement they've made for this game. That's stupid. I was getting this consistently, and now I'm not. This time, though. Next time, though. This time.
This is the one. This is the run. And this is the one. This one is the one which we finished the game. The whole of Mario Maker, not even just this level. We're going to finish every level. I should have uh, run. I messed this up. There's no, there's no escape. <sighs> this time. So I need to jump here, onto here, onto here, onto here, here. I need to not jump there. That's stupid. I need. I jumped and fell between them. You just need to run. Because if you run, you just run across them. So let's do that. I feel like the noise that these snake blocks make. I gotta do it. I keep forgetting to jump. It's kind of an essential part of this game. I think I should take my time when I get to those single blocks. Because I'm messing up there. Yeah, this is... I'm going to add so much to the failure rate of this. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, stop running around like an idiot. Why am I doing that? I have no one to blame but myself. Stupidity. This time. Got a good variation of levels coming out of the waypoint forums. Yes. This is what we want. Cat Mario. Alright. I wonder if I just run and jump if I can make it. I don't want to risk it though. I got through all this to get Cat Mario. And if MGM's smart, and they seem to be, I have no reason to believe they're not. And they would have checked. They would have tested it. They would have got Cat Mario. They did the dive jump. These are out of sync. What on earth is going on here? These were fine the first time. Oh, that was almost good. Oh, uh, I did the thing I said I shouldn't do. Just kill me, Flower Man. Take my life from me, Mr. Flower. Okay. I don't know what happened with those clouds. I couldn't make that jump. Because they were fine before. This would be bad luck. Oh, that was too far. I should have hit one of the ones over there. Right. I need to stop doing that as well. This time, as we are now 13 minutes at this level, I keep dying in silly ways. I should have set myself a time limit for these so if a level takes too long. I want to just playing it by gut. Like, I didn't want to redo those bob -omb levels because they took so long to get to the point I was struggling at. Oh, I did not go fast enough there. Um, they took so long to get to the point I was struggling at, they just wouldn't be fun to watch. But that was just a, you know, got reaction. Uh, the other levels I've skipped have been, again, just got reactions. Of, you know, I'm 
I wouldn't want to watch this is basically my <laughs> my criteria for should I stop or should I keep going? Should I try and jump? I'm gonna do it once. <laughs> okay. MJ, I'm a phone issue with your level. I knew it'd be there somehow. I could just sense it. I have a world record because of it. Alright, let's take one more attempt. Or maybe a couple more attempts. At trying to do it properly. Because there's like a whole level up there, I assume, in the vertical bit that we were going through. <sighs> But yeah, I, <laughs> I'm really happy that that was there. Instead of finishing the level... Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish the level because I don't think I'm good enough to do it. I say we try... No, I don't want to. I was going to say, let's try it in a couple of times and then I'll go through that pipe backwards and do it backwards and show the end of the level. But no, I'm not going to do that. If I don't show the end of the level properly, I'm not going to show the end of the level. This is too slow. I need to wait. I think I'll go pretty decent to this bit though. Not great, but you know, good. Good enough. I mean, not to finish the level. But to get through this pretty consistently, except when that happens. That's just bad luck. Sometimes I just, I can't see where I'm going. And I land in between the two blocks. And then it's just like, hey, you're dead. Or I do stupid things like that. What? What? I don't even know what happened there. Apparently wall kicked off of a thing I was standing on. Okay. This time? I wonder where the snake block actually goes. Oh, come on. That's annoying. I can't get up a run to go over the top of them. Jeez, that was just luck. I almost died there. This time... Too fast. I didn't even know you could go too fast in that way. That's nuts. I was like checking for oversights like that, like jumping towards the right, because some people just don't think about them, which is fine, it's easy to overlook. Some people leave them in intentionally, like MGM might have left that in because it was funny. Uh, I, in my level, left in a thing where you could, I, I put a bunch of ball bombs on a rail and then put an area that you could get a fire flower at. And if you shoot the bob bombs with the fire flower, it ignites them and they fall off the rail. Ah, that was dumb. And the next section of that level was a platforming section with ice blocks underneath that, which bob bombs can blow up. So if you sat and shot them off, because you don't need to, there's no good reason to, they would just fall off and destroy the path you needed to go down, which was unintentional. But I found it really funny, so I left them. I don't know if anyone's done it, 
There's no way to know. One, game, one thing I wish this game had uh, was replays. Like, if I could just see people finishing my level and doing dumb stuff. It'd be awesome. Alright. I really wish there was a checkpoint here. But how could you do it without the castle? He's been lined up this time. Oh, thank god. Uh, those blocks are basically just 3D World's equivalent of doors, if you don't know what I mean. Can I open this? Oh, no, I can open. Go on, buddy. Come for me. That was done. Oh, come on. Cat Mario is simultaneously great controlling and terribly controlling. He really wants to stick to every single wall. There we go. Do not jump off this time. Oh, come on. <laughs> I know what I need to do. Um, wait, can I do this without camera? Are we just doing it myself? Maybe you can't do this without camera. I can't get back out here. Well, that's dumb. Dumb of me, that is not of the level. It was a really easy jump and I could have made it and I messed up. Getting there though. Making progress again. That's always positive. We've already finished the level. So it doesn't really matter too much. I think I said I was only going to try this a couple of times, but I really just want to beat this level properly. Because I'm enjoying it. That's the sign of a good level. I'm enjoying it. And I've already finished it, but I want to finish it properly. I wonder if jumping up fast like that is what's doing this. Come on. Let's try going in the pipe to see if that helps. Diva resets it. Up it normally. Because you don't have that much control over these. That's like a genuine bug. <laughs> like, not a, uh, this is a level they made bug. Uh, hey, buddy. Like a Nintendo bug. Come on. Mess it up. Oh, thank God. Oh, it doesn't matter if I get hit. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Oh my God. It's like Christmassy, cutesy music playing while you're getting attacked by flame throwing turtles is hilarious. I don't know why. I mean, it's just Mario. I'm just glad it's not the usual, like, 3D world jazz, which I like, but yeah, it's nice to change. Huh. Um, do I need to be camera? Oh no, there must be another button over there. Yeah. The red ones only have spikes when the button's on. Oh my god. Dude, this probably. No, I just need to go here. And I need this properly. 
Right. Off we go. This level's great. Oh, there's a boss fight now. I shouldn't have wasted that. I think you can kill this guy with fireballs. These are the guys you can only kill by knocking off. Oh, there's a timer. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, I need to wait for the timer. I hate this. I hate this. I'm definitely gonna fall off that edge when I overshoot. I think that's your way to do this. I need free my phone, buddy. I definitely don't want to do that. That's definitely wrong. Hey, Mr. Thwomp. I'm here to break you out. Oh, this is going to be good. Can I jump on him for this? Take us to freedom. Alright, this level's good. I was already sold on it. But I'm definitely sold on it. All the way down. No, 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 all the way down. Bye, buddy. And this has to be the end of the level, right? <laughs> Odd. Yay, here we are. So I beat it properly. I beat it properly, I beat it improperly. Look at that content and I missed the flag but who needs it wait what for the last one that we're going to play during this video unless it's really short in which case I'll maybe do one more but has a completion rate of 6 out of 162 so 3.7, that's, that's probably not that short. Uh, this one's called Plague Control. It's by Arno. Arno. I, I, names. They're tough. They made another level we played before. That I'm blanking on the name of. But it was probably good because all the levels I've played have been good. Uh, but this is going to be the last one I played during this video. That's a good start. I did good. That wasn't a bad, stupid thing to do. Oh god, it's got the Mario Sunshine music. I think it was a high quality level when it has music from the worst Mario game. Yeah, I know, controversial. No! No one else has died there. Maybe you don't need to go in there. I think I want the spring though. How else do you get up here? Like, there's no way you can... Oh god, do I have to do... Do I have to jump and land on a bullet bell and then bounce off it? Maybe you don't need the spring. Oh my god. This chain jump is eager. It really wants to be in the video. And it's going to be in it a lot. Oh my god. It's getting late. My reactions are dulling. That they say just go the opposite way, like... Uh, I cannot jump diagonally at the moment. It's just not one way to... You can jump diagonally off these, right? Well, that's close enough. Hmm. I could hear the start of that sunshine music so much. The music's at least the one good thing about Mario Sunshine. And a couple of the levels are alright. The secret bonus levels where you don't have the jetpack are way better than the rest of the game.
I don't want to. I feel like I'm meant to jump from up here. Jump a little lower. And time it so that I bounce off that thing and then there's a clop above it. Killed by the stupid chain jump. Oh, I got killed by the Goomba. Even worse. How embarrassing. This is how I'll be remembered. Like I died on a Goomba multiple times when there was a worse thing there. All right. Nom nom nom. Yeah, oh, uh, no, that... I mean, that's what I need to do. I just need to actually do it. So much for a nice short level to finish the video, eh? If our ghost factor took so long, I'll do one more, but I'll make this about the same length as the last two episodes. No. I started calling them episodes, because they are technically, but I don't actually have a name for this. I've just been calling it, you know, Kieran plays Mario Maker, which is not really a name. And we're not a Let's Play channel, so we don't really do the whole just name of game. All the stuff we do is more edited content. The primary reason I started doing this was to learn how to use Final Cut. Been using it for a really basic edit, and you may have noticed I actually have my lower thirds working again. I had to remake them. Uh, Insider Baseball, for people that probably don't really know or care. Um, I was using Adobe Premiere until recently, and I got fed up paying the subscription cost. It's so expensive. And I don't use enough of the features to really justify it. Whereas Final Cut, I got a discount with my laptop, so it made sense just to pay. It was like five months worth of Premiere gets me Final Cut indefinitely. It was kind of a no-brainer. But I had to wait until my subscription ran out because it'll be buys you in for years or a year at a time. did it. I made the jump. I'm never going to make that jump again. But I'm never going to need to. Because I hit the checkpoint. Who needs to make the jump? Not me. I'm liking this so far though. That's not what I do. That was the worst thing I could do there. I wanted to spin jump and try and get on the beetle and be fancy but I'm going to go up this way instead. Hmm. Oh, Mario World, you're so good. Hello. So, don't want to go down this way? Oh. Did I kill Bowser Jr.? Oh, this is not good, though. I don't know if this was the intention for this area. I would hope not. Okay. I missed the thing. <sighs> I think, I don't think those spinies are all meant to be there like that. It's fine, I can deal with it. It's need to be faster. It's a good level design so far. I'm just bad at it. As is the running theme with this show. Uh, if you guys have better names than Protome Plays... Oh, God damn it. Definitely not calling it Protome Plays, God damn it. Okay, I'm dead. Uh, if you have a better name than Protome Plays Mario Maker 2, the game whose name I just forgot for a second. So in fact, it's probably going to be my game of the year list. Then come on one. For now, I'm just going to play Mario Maker. It's not going to be a an ongoing Let's Play thing. Very well. Maybe a, a name that's like generic enough that I can go, hey, I'm playing a thing, and it's not like the usual edited content. 
And there's a little bit of light editing going on. That's the point of it. Die, Buzz Jr. Okay, I'm just gonna die and run. Okay, don't... Okay. Whew. Ah! Ah! Why would you do this to me? I thought we were friends. I mean, I don't know you, but I thought we were friends. Is this back where... That's totally before where the level was before, right? To look around that stuff. Hmm. It's an interesting level design. Need to hold my controller further from the microphone. Because I can hear nothing. That was a stupid thing to do. I need those. Oh, that was also stupid. Okay, but we still only lost that. No! <laughs> that was stupid. I bet if you were really good, you could skip this whole bit going up here, and you could just bounce on that one spiny. Oh, I needed that. That goes around the lower area until you get the button. I am not, so I cannot do that. I can't even hit this one. This is the right way to do it. Hit the button. No, 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 no. Die, 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 die. All right, I even got the cape. It's the best run so far. Ghost sliding backwards because I'm that cool. Oh, let's go up, set down. I'm terrified though. What's that fall? Is that fish? It's fish. The winged the fish. How ineffable. Um. No. I'm gonna risk the cape so I can do this. I hope that I don't need the the fire. Oh yes. Does he fall? Hey. Not bad. I've still got the cape. I'm getting coins. This is a nice room. This could be like a trap or something, right? <laughs> Just listen to the intro for Mario Sunshine over there. Is this the Delfino Plaza music? Hey! That wasn't that bad. Why is the completion rate so low for this? I mean that... I guess just that chain chomp at the start. It's just messing people up. So the rest of it's not that bad. I mean, in terms of difficulty, also, when we say good, bad, that people jump towards quality, I think it's a good level. Oh man, my score was way off. Uh, good stuff. Yeah, that was great. A nice little vertical level. You can see a lot of vertical levels. Uh, good use of the, the the two areas being the same theme, so it looked like you were just jumping between different areas of the same overall area. Uh, I feel like the default, what most people think, including myself, is usually you go to the pipe, make the next bit underground or ice or something. But yeah, it makes sense sometimes just to do both the same. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Go on the Waypoint forums. The link will be in the description. The codes for all these uh, levels will be on the description so you can go play them all. Go try them all, give them all likes. If you boo them, you're a bad person. Um, but yeah, give them all a shot. Give more people attention for, you know, their cool levels. See ya.